go. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about algebraic expressions and we're gonna be talking about simplifying algebraic expressions and also equivalent algebraic expressions. So I just wanna write that word here, equivalent and simplify. We'll be doing two things. We're going to simplify to find an equivalent expression. Equivalent has that equal sign in there and it just means the same. So equivalent, if I say something's equivalent, it means it's saying the same thing. It's going to have the same value if I put in the same values for the expressions. One of the things that we were looking at, if you looked at that song, one of the things that they talked about is they talked about terms. And they talked about terms in the algebraic expressions. And ter terms are, in the algebraic expression, are separated separated by addition or subtraction. Those are those, so if I look here and I see, okay, what's separated by addition or subtraction, and I just circle that, I see that this expression, there's no equal sign, so it's an expression, not an equation. This, this expression has one, two, three, four, five terms here. Uh, we don't talk about multiplication or division as separating a term because remember those, remember that multiplication and division make groups. And when we are talking about a group, that's a tight set, so we wouldn't break it apart for a term. So that's one thing to remember about terms is that they're separated by a plus or by the subtraction or addition symbol. The next thing to be talking about terms is that, um, the next thing we talk about, we talk about something called like terms. That was in that song we played at the beginning, like terms. Those are the terms we can put together. And from like terms, like terms fall into two categories. They are either constants, maybe I'm writing a little too little. Is that a little too little? They are either, I'll write it just slightly larger. So those are, like terms are constants, and the constant is just a fancy term for a number, like four, or things like that. So those are, those are our numbers, like, like four, or one half, or negative 17 and six tenths. Those are just numbers that we're used to working with. We call them constant because four will always have the value of four. It's not going to be a different value another time. Its value stays the same. So that's a like term. I can put those terms together. Another like term is, is uh, there are terms that have the same, they have the same um, variable and that same variable raised to the same exponent. Yeah, that caught my eye this morning. A couple of things caught my eye this morning in that video was that like x squared, you can't add x squared to a x. You can only add x squareds to x squareds. So some examples would be x squared plus um, 3x squared, so I could put those two together and I would have 4x squared. But just like an x and an x squared, they are not like. They're not, not the same exponent. They're not the same power. So that's something to keep in mind with like terms. We want to combine the like terms because if we can put the things that go together, then it kind of simplifies the equation. It makes the equation... Um, have less terms and it makes it a little bit easier to look at. That's the purpose of doing that. So if I take that expression up here and I take a look at these terms up here, I see, okay, I only have one constant. It's, it's um, I want to think about it as negative four. Here's the one thing. Before we start putting terms together, so I'm gonna put a little bubble over here. One thing I like to think about before you put terms together, it's a favorite mistake. I like to change the subtraction to adding a negative. Before 
combining, and combining means putting together like terms, change, subtraction to adding the negative. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to write this expression down here one more time. 12y plus 3y squared minus 4x plus 2y squared minus 4. When I start putting like terms together, I would move things around a little bit. And I might forget, in fact, I was famous for it. I'd forget that this was really a negative 4x because I was so busy circling the terms in between that I'd forget that that was a negative. So if you change that to adding a negative 4 and you change this, it just happens to be the same um, 4 here, adding a negative 4, and then I won't make that mistake when I circle my terms. I'll see that this term is negative four, this term is a negative four x, this term is a three y squared, and this term is 12 y. Yeah, I didn't realize, I, I could count the terms, like when I do this, but I never really thought of the terms as being separated by the addition and subtraction signs. So I knew that was five terms, but I just knew it because I knew that was one, and that was one, and that was one. But I didn't know it was because that was the, addition and subtraction signs that were separating them. So now I, I know that as of your, your lesson this morning. I did know that I could add the opposite of a number, right? So if I'm subtracting four, that's the same as adding a negative four. And, but, and I really like thinking of it that way because you you're not going to lose that now. You're, you you won't know that's a negative. Yeah, trying to keep yourself from making a favorite mistake, which is forgetting that part. Okay, so now we're just looking, we just want to put things together that are similar so we can put and simplify this expression, make it a little bit smaller. So I have a 12y and I don't see anything else that has y there. So that 12y is going to have to just stay, 12y. But now I have a 3y squared and I have a 2y squared. So 3y squared and I, I'm always going to, it's positive, 3y squared and 2y squared. Well, I have three of them and two of them, so together I have five of them. So 5y squared. And I like, once I write it down underneath, I like crossing it off. Sometimes these things get really long. And you might miss one. Oh, I have to combine that one more time. And then I have um, plus a negative 4x here. There's no other x. And I have a plus a negative four here. So now I want to just, since I am trying to simplify, I'll go back and take care of this. Whenever I see plus, plus a negative, that means subtract. So now I'll just put the, those terms back down here. 12y and 5y squared. And now minus 4x and minus four. Now it's only one term less. This one has one, two. Now we can count the terms on this one. One, two, three, four. And this one had five terms. It is simpler, but just by a little bit. Sometimes I really can combine quite a few terms in there. The other thing to keep track of, another vocabulary term that comes up is this term called coefficient. Checking to see that you can see it. A coefficient is just the number that's multiplied. Okay, so it's a number multiplied by a variable. Multiplied by a variable in a term. Terms are like, we do say words are terms, right? So again, if, I, if we think about an equation like a sentence, an expression like part of a sentence, and these are the words that make up our, our expression that will later lead to it a sentence, an equation. So this is a term, this is a term, this is a term. So if I look at these are the coefficients. Now be careful here, and that's another reason why I do it, because this coefficient is not four, it's actually negative four. This coefficient is actually negative four. 
just like and this one has a coefficient it's positive two this one's negative four this is positive three and this is positive 12. coefficients are constants they are not variables because it's a number or a constant multiplied by a variable and the the other thing to keep track of is maybe not Okay, so the, that's the thing with the coefficients. Now, if I were to have something like this, y over two, the coefficient, now this is a division problem, right? It's y divided by two. But remember, this is a visible one here. And what is this really? y divided by two is really equivalent to one half times y. So what's the coefficient? That's your coefficient. So that's efficient. Again, if I just had a term like what's my coefficient, it's that invisible one is a coefficient. So just that's a little bit more of a vocabulary term. We say that when you combine like terms, you add the coefficients together. That's like adding the three and the two to make five y squared. What are your wonderings? What are your questions? before I show a little video. Just pondering a minute. Well, I have an obvious one, but nobody else will have mine. Be sure to go and watch this on YouTube if you want another example, because we the problem on YouTube is slightly different than this one. It so, will be. I thought I wrote the same problem, but it, I, clearly I didn't. <laughs> clearly you didn't. I like it though, because that we have both of those as examples now, I like it. So let me show you. And that's how you simplify an algebraic expression.